Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Today's piece of content, we're going to have a look at the 511 Tactical Skyweight Survival Chest Pack. Now, I'm generally new to these style front packs here in the UK. We don't tend to use these as much. It's I tend to see them a little bit more in kind of North America. Now I'm waiting for the comments to go, oh, I'm from the UK and I've used this since I was a sperm. Well, obviously that doesn't mean everybody, but it's nice to see these being available more readily here in the UK. Um, and yeah, I mean, you could cut the inter interview, you could cut the review short here. I, I genuinely really do like this. So let's turn the camera around and take a closer look. Now before we start, it's probably important to note the, the 511 Skyweight chest pack actually comes in two variations. This is the survival version of it, where you'll notice that some of the features are actually stripped back. It's probably the most paired back of the two versions. And this is the survival version. There is also a version called the utility version, which is probably more suited for EDC, there's more pockets in here on the inside. There are more options as far as being able to store your pens and I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Why I said pens, but you, you you kind of everyday EDC stuff. This one's more suited. I, I mean, they're both perfectly suited for going outdoors and kind of doing the stuff that you need to do. But you'll probably you'll notice with this one on the inside that. It's suited for more CCW and, and kind of that side if you need to ca carry a firearm with you whilst you are out and about. Luckily here in the Moorlands, really only need to worry about rabid badgers, which, God, they're a nightmare. But anyway, I digress. Let's have a look at some of the measurements, some of the materials, and then, you know, some of the features of this. As far as the measurements are concerned, it comes in at six inches by 10 inches by roughly two and a half inches deep, which makes this around about a, uh, a two liter chest pack. It's constructed from a 330D nylon, uh, which is actually really nice. There is a DWR coating to this, uh, so any moisture or anything, any rain that gets on here, it just beads off. All of the zips on here are really nice YKK zips. The buckles are... Duraflex buckles, which again is great to see, uh, and then you have some nice uh, mill spec webbing. Now, I will say it's actually a little bit softer, it's not your kind of your seat belt webbing, but it doesn't feel as kind of rigid as some of the other ones. Which I think, for the way that this is designed, so that you can wear this underneath a backpack, then it makes perfect sense that it would be like that. But as far as the weight is concerned, this comes in just at roughly a pound. Now on the front here, hopefully you'll be able to see that we have some PALS webbing across the front. This is so that if you want to attach anything to the front here, if you have any pew pew organizational pouches, then you can attach these to the front. Here at the moment, hopefully you'll be able to see, I've just got a flashlight on here so that if you are walking or you know you need to do something in the dark, then you've got that there. There is also a small wee um, 511 logo here up in the top left hand corner, which is quite nice. Um, I will say that the branding on this is very subtle branding. Um, I, I think that 511 have done a really nice job with the branding on this and they've just got this little patch here. This patch is also... Um, it's made from hook and loop as well, so that if you did want to cover something that up with some of these um, kind of buttonhole style uh, morale patches, then you could certainly cover that up with ease. On the underside of here, uh, you do have some webbing loops, so if you wanted to put something in here, again, maybe you could have a compass, maybe you've got some chem lights, anything that you wanted to put underneath here. Now, I do say anything, so it's very simple to put my finger in there. That's what she said. Um, but, I, I, I mean, it, it's about, it's roughly two and a half inches, so, I mean, you're not going to be able to fit in there um, an AR magazine, put it put it that way. But if there's, if there's something that you just need to be able to get to, or maybe if you've got some gloves and you've got a carabiner, then you can attach your gloves to there 
You also have some of these on the sides here. Now I say sides, they're really kind of on the front, uh, but you do have some additional gear loops. And then up here at the top, there are some additional loops as well, but you can use these uh, for pulling these open with the tabs, which we'll, we'll have a look at in, in a second. Now on the side, the zips come pretty much all the way down to the bottom. Now it isn't a full clamshell. If this is six inches, there's probably maybe an inch and a half here at the bottom that the zips come down to just to make sure that this doesn't just completely fly open if you do have something heavy on the front. On the rear you then have uh, this really nice air mesh section. Now the air mesh section on this is a pass through as well so hopefully you can hear there on the inside if I open this up there's a lot of hook and loop in there because this can be used um, for, uh, for a pass through for a belt. I think the 511 Rush 100, I think one of the Skyweights also, one of the largest Skyweight uh, backpacks has a uh, has a waist pack, a uh, waist belt, sorry, and these are they've been designed specifically to fit this. So if you wanted to, you can remove all four of these harness points so that you can pass a belt through here. And when you pass the belt through here, the hook and loop on the inside will secure the belt so that when it's in place, it's you know it's it's just not going to move around as much. The padding on the back here, the padding on the back is actually really nice. The um, the hook and loop, sorry, the the uh, mesh that's on here does a very good job of uh, allowing the, your skin and maybe your t-shirt, whatever you're wearing underneath here, uh, to breathe properly. Uh, we've had a few warm weeks recently and, and wearing this, because it's so close to my chest, I'm just not used to wearing a chest pack like this whilst walking. Um, but I did find that the kind of the sweat, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not gonna stop you from sweating, uh, but it did allow a lot of air through there, which allowed me to dry and allows this to dry uh, when it's when it's took off. Now on the harness, uh, you'll see on the inside on the on the inside of the uh, of the the back of the harness, you also have the same mesh on there as well. Now we will come back to the harness in a second, mainly because I just want to touch on the inside first before we do that. So as I mentioned, we do have two YKK zips on here. These are the uh, RC zips. They're also reverse coil as well, so this will stop any dirt or debris being able to get into the zippers. You can it is ambi open. You can pull both sides, and then this will fold down like that so that you can see on you can see into the inside now before I get to the inside I'm just going to touch on these two tabs here so whether you're a righty or a lefty what you can do is that when you close this up especially if, you, if you're new to these I'm sure you've probably seen these on a lot of other um, CCW style packs but when you close it these are designed to be closed but always stay on the outside so should you need to this will already be kind of fastened to your chest but you can pull down on this and it will open it's a bit and I will say it's a bit tricky trying to do that at the rear because usually you try and pull it down like that but when it's on my chest I can guarantee that when you pull that the whole thing does come down as I mentioned that you know you try and do these things on camera and it always ends up looking a bit weird so this is the one of the major differences between the uh, chest survival pack which is this one and the utility survival pack which is it's it's kind of it, it's sister so with the survival pack or the Skyweight survival pack on the inside, it's very minimal. So on the back here, hopefully you'll be able to see you have lots of hook and loop. Um, with the, what was it, 10 inches across by six inches down, you can fit um, pretty much any um, pistol into this. Now I say any pistol, you're not gonna be able to have some massive Desert Eagle style pistol in here. Um, but I do have a replica Glock 17 and that will fit in perfectly. So you don't necessarily have to go for your compacts or your subcompacts, uh, they'll fit in. Um, but then obviously if you're having a smaller one in there, if you have some of these specialist pew pew pouches, um, then you'll be able Able to put uh, your pistol in there and some additional magazines should you need them. 
If you didn't want to use this, there are plenty of companies out there that make specific organizers that are hook and loop that you can put into this. And that's actually the main reason that I went for this one, not necessarily for the CCW side, obviously here in the Kingdom and the Moorlands we can't CCW but uh, the fact that the modularity across the back for me is is what was you know the main thing that i went for this version now on the front on the inside here you then have some additional uh, elastic loops and in these elastic loops you can put in you know whatever you choose they're about kind of two inches wide uh, and then you've got five of them across the front all of the stitching throughout is immaculate exactly what you expect from 511 um, this is all um, lined <laughs> forgot the word then for a second it's all lined through the bottom of course it's all lined through the back because this is where your um, where your hook and loop is uh, you have your small little labels there and then again so even through through the bottom here where all of the stitching or the hardware areas uh, these are all reinforced to make sure that you can get as long as, as long out of from this one pack as you possibly can do now getting back to the harness system, so this is an X harness system, I suppose very similar to an H harness system. Um, I have a 40, what do I have, a 44 to 46 inch chest. Um, on the sides here, these are out pretty much as far as they will go across the shoulders. There's maybe an extra three or four inches in these. Um, I think if you do check on the 511 website, it will give you the exact measurements of how wide you can get these. Um, but as I say, so I'm about 44 to 46 inch chest and I've still got a little bit of wiggle room in here. On each of the sides, you have some, oh, sorry, my voice went for a second there. Uh, you have these little press buckles, so you pinch them together and they will then open out. Uh, so whether you're a lefty or a righty, you should be able to get this on. As far as donning and doffing, it's as simple as undo one, put your head through and your arms through, pull that underneath your arm and then just put it on. That's if you like to get it reasonably tight. Um, the way I have it, I mean, I can just kind of full on pull it over my head and it will be able to get on. Um, but when it's on, the harness system itself is very, very minimal. One of the main advantages of a chest pack like this is, so at the moment I have my rucksack on and the rucksack will still fit over the top of this. Because it's very minimalist in the suspension system, at the back it's very flat against, uh, kind of comes in between your shoulder blades. Um, it doesn't affect having a backpack on. The, uh, the, the suspension system of the pack that I'm wearing now slides perfectly over the suspension system of the survival chest chest pack and even with having the um, the sternum strap here it sits perfectly over the top of that what this now gives me is a lot more features that I can get to here on my front should I need to while still not having to worry too much about having to take off my backpack every time I want to try and find something testing this out over the last what are this, about four weeks now but testing this out over the last four weeks it's genuinely been an eye-opener for me I just have always been used to taking my rucksack off trying to find something or having something that's probably not suited that I've kind of had to adapt so something like a uh, something like a sling bag or something like one of those smaller over shoulder bags that will still fit underneath here and just sits below my pack here it's great because it's always off to the side but it is off to the side if it's a sling bag you have to kind of maneuver it in well it, i mean it's not too difficult with a sling bag but again it's not something that's perfectly and specifically designed for this operation so having tested this now I kind of kicking myself that it's took me so long to have a look at packs or chest packs like this. Uh, so yes, very impressed with the 511 survival chest pack or Skyweight, sorry, survival chest pack. Now I just want to say a huge thank you to Tactree. Uh, so at the beginning of this year, you'll hopefully you may remember I made some content with Tactree on the uh, 511 Rush. 
uh, 100 uh, and they got in touch and they liked the content and they, you know, they'd asked if I'd like to try this out and as it was something new to me I jumped at it so I'd love to say a huge thank you to the team um, at Tack Tree, everybody there is really nice and uh, their store one of the largest if not, if, sorry I, I, let me take this back they are the largest UK supplier of uh, 511 gear they are one of their uh, flagship stores uh, so if there's anything that you're after 511 they really are the people to go to here in the UK so I'll leave all of their links below so that you can see more from them I'll leave some of their social media links as well I'll also leave some of my social media links here on Moreland DC and my sister channel Moreland Tactical but for now as always stay safe stay Moorlander and stay EDC Hi, I'm the Moorlander, and this is had a complete brain blank. Brain, brain blank. Really used in the past, and I'm baffled why I haven't done in the past. Now that I've used, no. There are two versions of this, although there's, you know, there's actually t there's two colours, I suppose. Uh, anyway, <laughs> idiot. Speak English. The wind's picking up. I've been wanting to get out all day today. I have some really different content, <sighs> but my camera doesn't like getting wet. God damn you! God damn me for living in a country that it rains three weeks out of five! You'd think that, but I mean, I am used to it. I actually like getting out in the rain. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't. God damn you, Canon! Look, okay, are there any f camera geeks out there? Do Canon do a waterproof camera that you can just go out in the pouring rain that's DSLR or mirrorless quality? There you go. I, 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 I enjoy helping people out. Let's see if you guys can help me out. Unless it's gonna cost like a million pounds, which obviously I've got, but <laughs> that goes on my Lamborghini tires. Um, yeah. Have a nice day.